sixth video in our free traffic series and this topic is called forum marketing. Forum marketing is something that's been around for a really long time but still a lot of people don't know about it. A lot of people think it doesn't work as well but when you think we just talked about social networking, forum marketing and, and discussion forums themselves are one of the biggest social platforms on the internet period and uh, I, I've received a ton of value from not just marketing on forums, but participating on forums because there's a lot of really knowledgeable people, a lot of great information. It's all archived and it's there year after year and it grows. So just doing this exercise alone cannot hurt. And then when it comes to traffic, it'll definitely give you a, a, a spike in your traffic if you do things the right way. So let's talk about how you can actually use forums to market your websites. First thing is to find forums that are related to your niche. And again, kind of like we said in the very first video, it doesn't have to be a one for one. Like if you're doing a weight loss product, it doesn't have to be a weight loss forum. It could be a fitness forum. It could be anything that, that just that has some kind of relevance. And, it, and in some cases, it doesn't even have to be relevant because forums are places where people go and those people have tons of different interests. So just play it by ear. Um, find forums, most importantly, that are active and that are busy. Because if you're if you're commenting and there's only three other people that comment on a daily basis, um, it might be a waste of time. Go to ones that have thousands of people and you're going to read some good stuff, but you're also going to get the opportunity to get some clicks on the links that you leave behind. So uh, like anything else, use Google, start doing some research on forums if you don't already know which ones are available. Ask around. In some cases, people get a lot of their information from forums. So start talking to people and see which forums they're using. When you first join a forum, the best way to get known by people and to make friends uh, is to just go in and start asking questions. It, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean you're um, inexperienced in the area, but just ask questions about their community, right? And even if, and if you are inexperienced, then tell them. Like, say, I'm new at this. Um, can you give me some pointers on how I can get started at whatever it is you're doing? Uh, experienced people love sharing their uh, expertise with new people. One, it makes them feel good, but two, it also looks good among their peers to, for them to be able to kind of show off and see what they know or show what they know. Uh, it's good for, for their own marketing purposes. So for whatever, for whatever reason, go in and ask new questions or when you're new, go in and ask questions just to show that you're interested in what the people have to say. Great way of getting them going. And you can even just ask, I'm new to this forum, uh, what's the best way for me to meet the best people? Or what's the best place for me to uh, find information so I don't ask it, ask things that have already been asked. And it shows that you're courteous, it shows that you respect that they have a forum, it's been around for a while and you don't want to waste anybody's time. Um, the biggest, most important thing about forum marketing is to set up a good signature. Most uh, forums that are worthwhile using, and, and most of them you'll see run on um, uh, a forum called, or a platform called vBulletin, although they don't all run on that platform, but most of the platforms allow you to have a signature. And what a signature is, is at the end of every discussion thread that you participate in, when you leave a post, at the end of your post there's a little section at the bottom with your own little signature, kind of like in an email. And in some forums, you can have multiple links. I, I love those kind of forums. And I'll often leave as many as uh, five or six links to different things I do. Uh, don't get carried away with it. Kind of see what other people are doing. In some forums, it's kind of a no-no to have more than one link in your signature. Um, but the main thing is, if links are allowed, take advantage of it and make sure that you're linking people either directly to your money site or at the very least to a um, feeder site like a blog so that people can get to know you better. Um, I find that I get quite a, quite a bit of traffic to uh, my personal blogs because I use them as my signature in most of the forums that I participate in. Um, and, uh, and your signature doesn't just have to be the link, it can say something kind of interesting to get them to click, like uh, the most unique personal development blog on the internet click here, you know, get them to look at, you, know, you can be a little bit outrageous if you need to, but get them to look at it and hopefully click on it. And then what you want to do is just go and participate in discussions. Same thing like you, we talked about with blog commenting, you might want to be a little bit, 
more outspoken. You might want to be a little bit controversial or be funny or do things to stand out if that's your personality. If it's not your personality, that's okay too. Um, but if you're going to get involved in discussions, take a, st take a stand or take a side. Um, let your opinion be known and whether they like you or they hate you, if, you, if you're saying good things, if you're saying thought-provoking things, then there's a much higher probability that you're going to stand out and get your link clicked on. And what I often do is I'll go back and study my statistics and look at all my forum marketing traffic and realize, okay, uh, I did some forum commenting where some threads, I was, getting, I was getting 10 or 20 links to a specific page of my website or to the home page of my website from one comment I left on a forum. What was that comment? Oh, okay, it was this or it was that. And I'll look at, in some cases it was funny, in other cases I said something that made me look really smart, which was awesome, or um, something that was controversial, and I'll study it. And what, what was it about that comment that made people click? And I'll try to do more of it. So you have to really think like a marketer here and look at what is the attitude that, that draws people to click on your link. And you'll, you'll realize pretty quickly what works for you. Um, another thing you need to... Uh, be careful with this one but it does work is sharing your content in a thread so let's say let's go back to the example of um, using a blog to promote like a as a feeder site to promote a money site I could theoretically take that um, that blog post that I wrote about quit the reasons for quitting a job and post a link to that in a forum where I'm a regular uh, commenter and ask people well, here's an article I wrote on my blog about this topic what do you think uh, and in some cases people might call you out and say you know you shouldn't really be doing that or we don't want you promoting your content on this blog if you really want to ask us then just write a, a, a thread in the, the discussion forum but in other cases you can get get away with it um, it's up to you to just kind of take that chance uh, forums are kind of funny with the the way they uh, they're set up that people can kind of gang up against you or get mad and you can really tarnish your reputation easily uh, I don't want to say that to deter you because you know in my opinion people need to relax a little bit and if if somebody's gonna call you out there's probably somebody else that's gonna defend you and being at the center of that isn't necessarily bad from a traffic generation perspective if uh, if things get really um, if things get really heated you can always just choose not to participate in that particular thread anymore but uh, I'll give you an ex I'll actually show you an example when I flip over to my demo of a time where I shared a piece of content from my blog and I ended up getting hundreds of clicks on this particular forum so it worked out well for me but it's because the content I was sharing was relevant to that discussion uh, and the final thing here about forum marketing is to look at free advertising options there are forums out there that there's a number of different uh, sub forums within it and you can you know one one section might be about general discussion there might be another section specifically to do with uh, a topic so if it's the weight loss one it might be supplements that you could take there might be another one on alternative exercises that don't involve weights and in some of these forums they have a section where you can post free ads and if you're talking about free traffic generation, why not use that strategy? It's almost like a, a Craigslist kind of, you know, it's, it's hit and miss, but it might work, it might not. But take it up, it's free, give it a shot. And sometime, in some cases, these forums will send traffic to you. Whether the traffic is of good quality or not, you're going to have to test that by looking at your statistics. But evaluate the forums and see if they have any free advertising options. So with all of that being said, let's... Um, Let's flip over and show you a live demo of some of the form marketing techniques that will uh, that have worked for me and that will probably work for you as well. Now I already have forums that I participate in that I can probably tap into now and start driving some traffic to this sales page. But let's say you don't, you aren't a member of any forums and you want to do the first step for my slide, which is researching some forums. Let's use, I just went on a fishing trip, so let's use fishing. Let's see if we can find some fishing forums. And uh, I've actually been on one, but uh, there's a number of results that come back. I mean, as soon as you use Google, you find <laughs> you find what you're looking for. So let's actually go to this one here, fishing forum for fishing, of all things. And you can see what I never what I normally do when I'm researching fishing or any forums is look at the last post column and see when some of the more recent uh, posts were made. So it's, it seems like it's pretty active. There was already two comments made today here. Um, there was one 
yesterday, another one yesterday here, and some that are fairly recent. So this forum appears to be pretty active. Also, look at the number of posts. In the new member introduction, there's 11,000 posts, there's 1,500 threads. Um, freshwash, freshwater uh, fishing forum, there's 11 people in there currently. This is the middle of the night for me. Um, and lots and lots of threads there. So this would be a, a decent one to join. What, the other thing I'll do is, let's go into one of these, and I, what, I, what I'll do is look around and see what are people talking about. So let's go into, uh, we'll just take pike fishing here, and then look at, here is one that was made yesterday. It was a post from yesterday. And I can see that there's a little bit of a conversation going on here. What I'm actually looking for is to see if people are allowed to have signatures. Because uh, if you're not allowed to have a signature, it's going to be pretty hard to promote your content in a forum. And right now I can't tell if this place allows signatures or not. So what I do is I'll keep looking around until I can see uh, if people are actually allowed. So here is a signature. It doesn't actually seem to have a link in it. Um, this one does. So you can see this person's signature is something in here where they're actually promoting a blog. So right away I can tell this is the type of forum where you're allowed to have a signature and in your signature you're allowed to link out to your website. So I'm not saying don't participate in forums if they don't let you have a signature, but the whole point here is free traffic generation. So if you're going to be doing uh, forum marketing, make sure that your signature can have a um, a link out in it. This one does. So this would be a good one for me to go ahead if I wanted to join this forum. This one would be, for, be a good one for me to go and join as a member. Um, I'd have to go and register for it. So I don't really see where to do that off the top. Oh, there it is. I, I can just go and register now. I'm not going to do that for this forum uh, because I'm not promoting a quit job program here. But what I can do is uh, show you some of the forums that I do participate in. So let's go here to um, stevepavlina.com, which is a personal development forum that I, I go to from time to time. I, I'm not the most active member, but I certainly, uh, I, I'll go here a couple times a week at the very least. And you can see this is a self-development type of forum. They have health and fitness, social, uh, personal effectiveness. I often find myself over here in the business and financial section. So let me just log in as my user ID. And let's go say that it remembers me. Oops. Okay. I'm going to log in as myself. And what I want to show you is my, this is a forum that runs on vBulletin, which most of the forums that you'll sign up for will run on. So this, this demo will actually show you quite a bit. If you go into the user control panel, which is usually at the top left, user CP, click on that. What you're going to see here is, down the left, you'll see there's a section for edit signature. This is the very first thing that you're going to want to do. Uh, and if it's not the first thing, you want to do it pretty soon into your forum experience. Some people will actually suggest that you go and participate in the forum, maybe do 10 or 20 posts before you even have a signature. That shows the people in that community that you're not just there to advertise yourself. And so not a bad idea. I'll leave that up to you and your personal taste. So here's my signature. And right now I have it as three things. Success coach from a success coaching website, WordPress for business for a, another program I promote, and then my Twitter link. What I'm going to do now is actually change it because I, I don't really care about promoting my Twitter link right now. I'm more concerned with promoting uh, this, new, uh, this new product that I have here. So let's grab the URL, copy, and I'm going to paste that as a, my third link. So instead of having my Twitter link, it's going to be the Quit Your Job manual. And my anchor text will be quit your job. And what I want to do here is preview the signature. So this is what appears right here. This section here is what appears at the bottom of every one of the posts that I make uh, on this forum. The really cool thing about this is I've got, I think, over 200 posts on this forum. And all of those posts are still archived. People are reading them if they go back and, and look at the archives from previous months and years. All of my posts will now be updated with my new signature. So it's pretty cool because now I have all these links suddenly <laughs> available driving back to that uh, particular website, which is cool. So I'm going to save that signature. And then the next thing I want to do is show you uh, 
how I actually participate in this forum. So we'll go to uh, back to the home page and top of mind right now is business so let's go into their business forum and you can see here um, there's a couple things you can do the easiest thing is to just take existing threads that are already there and comment on them uh, the other thing you want to do is create your own threads because then your name will be here and people will get to know uh, you they can actually click you can see this becomes clickable and if you start a thread and it's got an interesting title people will click and learn more about you and there's also a better chance that they might click through and check out who you are on your website that you're promoting in your signature as well. Um, so let's find one that I can comment on here. Well, let's go to the first one saying have a look. I have no idea what it's going to be. Have a look. So it says have a look at this website I came across on the weekend. It's awesome. YourDailyMotivator.com uh, Kind of interesting. It seems a little salesy. I generally wouldn't uh, comment on something like this so I'm not going to do that now. But this is good. You get to see kind of how I use forums. Um, need opinion on website builders. Okay, this is something I can probably talk about. So, uh, this person, I'm not going to, in this demo, show you all of this. So let me just, what I'm going to do is read through this and then leave a comment and turn the camera back on for you. So here I've just left a response for this lady's question. And without going into too many details, what you can see here is she was asking about uh, which website building tool to use. Somebody actually recommended a, uh, a response with uh, saying that she should use WordPress. She came back and says, well, if I use this, then I wouldn't have to pay. For... She had some questions, basically. And it worked out well because I um, actually have the answers and I run a coaching program that teaches that exact stuff. So I gave her some quick answers here. Um, I didn't say, you know, and... For more information, please check out my WordPress site. I didn't say anything like that. I just gave her the answer, and she might see that I have this WordPress for Business link here and click that. I didn't even anticipate to be pro promoting that website right now, but I did. But also, I get to promote Quit Your Job here, which I think in general people will be like, what's that all about? And they're just they're going to click it anyways because I'm I'm leaving a thoughtful comment here. So that's one way of doing it. The other way would be to create a brand new thread either in this forum for business and financial or any other forum that exists out there as well. Um, I've showed enough in this particular demo that um, I think you get the idea. The other, the, the, uh, the second example I wanted to show was if when I went back to the slides I talked about using forums to actually promote specific content in a thread. And you can't do this all the time, but I want to show you one time it worked for me really, really well um, at a website that I use called the Warrior Forum, which is uh, an internet marketing community where people who are internet marketers uh, get together to talk. So I'll flip over there next. Here's the Warrior Forum. Another. This is a huge, huge online forum. Hundreds of thousands of people come to this site all the time. And uh, you, you can log on at any time of day or night, and there's hundreds of people you can go and network with at any time which is great and what you can see here is that this forum is actually broken into a number of different discussion forums where threads take place and one of the areas I participate in a lot is a um, is sort of the self-improvement one it's a lot of the stuff I do deals with this area so I come in here and talk to the other internet marketers who are into self-improvement and it works out well um, what I want to show you is an example of a thread that I started it was in this particular forum. Uh, it's not on the first page anymore because it was done a couple of months ago. Um, but if I just paste it in, I have the, the link here. If I paste it in, what you're going to see is I started the thread. So I created a thread called, How Do You Start Your Day? And I know that a lot of people that are on this forum are um, either part-time business owners or they're people that are really cramming a lot of stuff in. So I knew I'd get a big response to this kind of question. But then what I did was I said, I'm, uh, you know, here's my, my routine for a day. And I just put a quick video together showing how I motivate myself in the morning. And then I link to, if I click on this, look what it links to. It actually links to a video on my blog that, uh, look, it's promoting all my content. It's promoting this video, but also it's, it's selling my stuff. And um, what's really cool about this was this thread had tons of responses. If I start scrolling through here, all of these people came in and watched that video. In fact, if you look at the, there's this little thank system. 
three of the people that read it thanked me for posting it. And all I did was I used this forum to promote my content. Um, and again, I'm doing it in the right way. I'm not spamming the forum. I'm literally con starting a conversation that was useful. So here's a great example of how to properly promote blog content using a forum, not just in a signature, but actually starting a conversation saying, hey, everybody, look at my blog. And it worked out really well because it was a useful video for, for everybody. Got, obviously, lots of conversation. People got to share their stories. And here's how I... Here's how I start my morning. Here's how I, I, I don't like to get up early. I do like to get up early. Whatever. All these different things uh, going on. And the conversation, if I scroll to the bottom here, it went on to, I think, uh, yeah, two different pages. So um, each time people read it, I got some, you know, my own credit at the top here with obviously my signature is, is selling some of my stuff. And it worked out really well. So that's an example of how you can drive pretty good traffic if you're in a really busy forum like this. Uh, th this is the, the thread, this particular link right here sent hundreds of unique visitors to my personal development website, um, which is nothing to complain about. It was, it was phenomenal. So you can try something like that as well and it should work really well for you. Uh, having said that, that covers the basics of forum marketing. This is really something that you're going to get a personal feel for. Uh, some people love forums, other people hate them. I like forums, the ones that I found, because I actually get a lot of useful knowledge from them. There's really, really smart people on these forums. I go and learn from them, and at the same time, I get to promote myself a little bit, so it's a win-win all around. And I hope you liked watching uh, the sixth video.